So my name is Steve Hagenifer. I work in uh, the mobile communications business on the developer experience team. And my team focuses on two different things. We focus on the developer store holistically, and we focus on key depth engagement with key ISVs or partners. So the .NET Compact Framework is, uh, I, I think it's, it's great. I'm a big proponent of the Compact Framework. Um, the great thing about the Compact Framework is that if you already have skill sets in managed code, so you know Visual Studio, you know Visual Basic, you know C Sharp, um, you can take those skills and translate them directly into mobile development uh, via Visual Studio and the great IDEs that we have there and the great tool sets and the Compact Framework. So it really gives you a leg up as an enterprise developer for taking existing assets, for taking existing code, and for the stuff that your developers already know, and porting that into the mobile world. Um, I like to think of it as a best of and not a subset of .NET because really, in the Compact Framework, we provide you with just about everything you will need. So you rarely have to actually um, do platform invokes to get at the native uh, environment. So it's really a great comprehensive framework that allows enterprise developers to move very quickly from uh, server or desktop or laptop uh, types of uh, environments and applications onto the Windows mobile platform. Our value proposition has remained consistent uh, over the years. And it's really three things. Uh, the first thing is use the tools that you already know, right? So you know Visual Studio, you know uh, Visual Basic, you know C Sharp, you know C++. Use those same skill sets. The second thing is use the infrastructure that you already have. So we're not proponents of saying, hey, go out and change your entire architecture for mobile environments. We're about saying, hey, look, um, you've already got the tool sets and the environment in place. Let's go ahead and use those things to build mobile applications. And the third pillar is really about the partners that you already use, right? Since we can take the skill sets uh, and the infrastructures you already have, your partners can leverage those things to help you develop mobile applications. So really, it's three things. The skill sets you already know, the infrastructure you already have, and the partners that you are currently working with. The thing I think that people should take away from Windows Mobile is that it doesn't take rocket scientists to develop mobile applications, right? And that's one of the great things about Windows Mobile, about the Microsoft stack holistically, about the developer tools, is that once you have experience with one of them, you can take those experiences and you can move them, you can harness them onto other platforms that Microsoft support. Windows Mobile is a perfect example. You can take those same skill sets that you currently have and you can develop great, robust, rich applications on the Windows Mobile environment without having to learn uh, an entirely new skill set, without having to add a ton of new infrastructure. I think um, there's kind of a big misnomer in the industry that in order to have an effective mobile rollout, you need all these different pieces in place. And while a lot of that is, is important, and it's important to have a great architecture uh, to support mobility, and there are certain things you do want to do, getting into the game with Windows Mobile is actually really easy to do from a business, from, from enter, from a, a business and an enterprise standpoint. Because we do give you the tools to make, uh, to make this uh, transition relatively seamless, right? We, we harness your existing skill set so that you can take uh, a desktop application programmer and you can have them migrate um, some of those assets and some of that code and those skill sets for sure onto the Windows Mobile platform. And that I think is the biggest takeaway is that if you're thinking about getting into mobility, now is the time to do it. Windows Mobile gives you the platform to harness all of the tools and skill sets you already have in your enterprise to bring those to bear on a mobile platform. I think the .NET framework has eased development and, and sped up development time for applications on the desktop and the server. The same concepts and the same ideas apply to the Compact framework, right? So we're able to give you a great set, uh, a great surface area of APIs in the Compact framework and allow you to write these very robust applications in a very quick amount of time because, of course, managed code takes care of a lot of stuff for you in the background that you just don't have to worry about as a developer. Um, and, you know, we've got this great framework that you can leverage to actually speed your applications up uh, from a time to market standpoint. If you are using Visual Studio to develop your desktop apps, your server apps, your, enterpri your enterprise apps, you have instant familiarity with the tool sets for developing uh, in the mobile environment. So it's as simple as creating a new project choosing it to be a mobile project, 
and then going to town. Um, it works the same way as, as you know, any other um, application that you would develop, except it's nice because we provide you not only with a compact framework, but we provide you with nice emulator skins and things. So you can actually test the apps and see what they look like inside of, essentially, Visual Studio via these nice uh, graphical emulators that pop up and show you what your code looks like actually running on device. And it's got all the great stuff that Visual Studio is you know, known for. It's got great unit testing. It's got great um, code breaks. It's got great debugging tools. So all that stuff that you get with Visual Studio, you can now harness um, on the mobile platform with Windows Mobile. I think one of the things that oftentimes goes overlooked is that every Windows Mobile 6.0 device and above has a fully relational, fully transactional database in ROM. That database is SQL Compact Edition. You can actually leverage that database uh, in the same ways that you would leverage a SQL Server. In fact, it becomes a, a subscriber to, it can become a subscriber to a SQL Server database. So you can set up a, a publisher-subscriber relationship with a SQL Server proper um, serving up enterprise data to mobile devices using SQL C. And SQL C will do all the syncing, will do all the um, merge replication and everything for you uh, so that you don't have to do those things. You know, in summary, really, the message is, is that start mobile development now. The industry is going that way. There's a lot of ROI uh, in developing for mobility. The TCO, I think, from the Microsoft stack standpoint, is a lot lower than a lot of other platforms out there, especially if you already have invested in the infrastructure and you already have those skill sets in-house. This whole cost of ownership is a lot lower. And so I would, I, or I would um, say to anyone that is going to, or I'd say to anyone that's thinking about developing uh, on a mobile platform, to go ahead and do it, now's the time. Uh, start, you know, getting your chops, and Windows Mobile makes an excellent platform to do that on.